Now if we look at the genome of T4 bacteriophage, so this is the genome of bacteriophage T4 and the uniqueness of bacteriophage T4 genome is that it is having two important properties. One is they are terminally redundant and second thing are they are circularly permuted. What do you mean by circularly permutation? That means the circular formation of the phage can be easily possible due to kind of complementary bases that are present in both the terminal and they are called terminally redundant. That means usually there is a sequence of about 1.6 kb is repeated in both the ends during the packaging. That means let's say here if this is the whole genome when the, it is getting packaged it is kind of cleaved from uh, different sections so that as you can see in both the ends in this in this example 1 2 stars at the end also 1 2 in this case starts with 3 4 ends also with 3 4 and in this case it will start with 5 6 so it will go and end up with 5 6 somewhere so this is called the terminal redundancy of this T4 genome now this terminal redundancy is maintained because as they are having this kind of terminal redundancy they are also circularly permuted permuted that means they, are, they can easily form a circular DNA structure out of this single uh, out of this linear DNA due to having the same type of genes and DNAs at both the terminal of our genome of the bacteriophage. <coughs> now the ge genome actually comprises of 300 probable genes and majorly of three different type of promoters. One is early, another one is middle and third one is a late. So early promoter is called promoter earlier, promoter E or PE, middle one is called as PM and last or uh, late one is termed as PI or PL, sorry not PI, PL. Okay, so the early and middle genes encode for the functions of DNA replication for, and regulation of expression of different late genes and the late genes encode head and tail components for the fast particles because late genes are usually responsible for the production of all structural structural proteins okay so more than 40 percent of the genetic information is needed for the synthesis of t4 structure otherwise it cannot be produced so this is a basic arrangement of different so this is uh, the structure of the genome of bacteriophage t4 that we can see there are different regions for coding the structural genes this whole regions for the structural genes from head tail head raw, uh, neck and collar then tail base plate from this part of the section it requires for DNA metabolism membrane formation tail fiber nucleotide metabolism and so on and among all these different proteins GP proteins are important for structural purpose and DEX A, DEN B and MOT these proteins are important for other kind of purposes now usually this T4 phage won't require in lysogenic and lytic switch because they are not temperate phage so uh, they are having less complexity than the lambda phage genome and the genome are uh, uh, usually uh, for this T4 phage are 80 rich in nature and it usually contains modified bases like 5 hydroxymethyl cytosine rather than cytosine so here you can see this is a modified version of cytosine it is methylated after this methylation it is getting 5 hydroxymethyl cytosine 5 HMC and also the majority of the hydroxyl methyl groups are glucosylated in this case as you can see okay so this this is another important feature of the genome it is made up with AT reach so, it, so, so for the replication it, it can start with uh, from any different position because it mostly AT reach in nature so it is easier to uh, detach both the strands and then it is made up with this modified bases which are required for for preventing themselves against the host cell activity. Okay, so that's kind of it, and I hope that's helpful. Thank you.